Hello everybody, my name's Freddy, and you're watching Freddy Plays, but before we go any further, don't forget to end. Now, today we're going to be playing a new game that I've just bought, it's not super new, it's like five months old, but I've been wanting it for so long, and it just came on sale! Uh, it's called Frostpunk, I've never played it before, I don't know what we're doing, let's hit a new home, and see what the hell happens. Ooh, loading screens. There are many theories about what caused the global winter, despite much research, much research nobody can say for certain what happened. Uh, English. Alright. Let's go. Can't get worse from here, can it? Fulfilling a promise will make people hopeful. Okay, so from what I understand, there's a whole lot of, like, uh, trying to do the right thing, but also being a dick to make sure we all survive this winter apocalypse -y thing. People's chance of falling ill depends on the conditions in which they never mind. I'll read that later. The roam of the still, cold world. No horizon in sight. Rulers of old, stripped of pride and glory. It feels as yesterday we were turning the wheels of progress. Until the frost Aww. stopped it all. Poor little dude. Suddenly, without a warning. When tides had changed, they changed for all of us. No matter wealth or class. I don't know if that was a frozen corpse or not. We have lost our world to snow. And with it, our last traces of humanity. Bleak. But awesome. Farewell to plenty. And for those who remained, came the time to adapt. We decided to leave our homes and head north. We roamed for weeks, maybe months, leaving behind all the things we once believed had made us. It was hope. Pushed us forward. Slowly. Step by step. We knew the cost of our journey. And we paid the price. A hundred times. Finally, the time has come to build the last city on Earth. Let's see if we can't survive the winter. A new home. We fled from London and crossed the sea to reach the frozen north. On the way, our convoy was hit by a blizzard and scattered. A handful of us managed to reach the side of this generator, only to find it frozen solid and abandoned. Why is there no one here? Did any of our people survive the blizzard? Are there any others out there? Whatever we do, we should expect the worst. Now that the world as we know it has crumbled, we have to survive. Ooh, oh, I've been aching to play this for so long. I really hope I don't suck at it. I hope you guys enjoy it. Feel free to hit me up in the comments, uh, say hello, all that sort of jazz. I don't know what the fuck we're doing. Let's see. Fight the cold. We need the generator working. It provides heat and power to the other buildings. Without it, we'll freeze to death. Stockpile some coal and start the generator. Yep. I don't know what to do. Stockpiles. Uh, no issues. I guess it's camera controls. You got buttons. Okay, so I can do that. Or with that. I zoom in with the wheel. The wheel and Q and E will rotate. Okay. Alright. I got it. Uh, inoperative. The generator that heats the city. We're going to freeze to death before I figure out what to do here, aren't we? 80 people homeless. Okay. Ooh, resources and the workforce. Okay, we've gone through some tutorials here, people. Uh, resource management is crucial to the city's survival. You'll need coal to power the generator. Wood and steel are necessary for construction and research. Steam cores are a key part of advancement, uh, advanced buildings. Raw food is used to prepare food rations in the cookhouse. Later in the game, more types will appear. Most buildings require you to assign people to work there. Certain buildings employ engineers uh, and others employ workers to assign people. Click on the workplace 
to see the assignment panel. Uh, alright, let's see. What's this? Wood crates! Uh, I guess... Go and get stuff, people? And you know what, I'm just going to send a couple of dudes in each direction and, and we're hopefully going to stock up on some stuff. We need coal. Oh, coal. That's the one we need. Coal. I need more people here. More people there, please. What's that? That is wood crates. Like, everyone just go and get stuff. We need lots of things. Oh, man. I'm going to die so hard at this. And it's such a small, like resourceable area. I don't know if we can ever get out of the crater. I don't know if we're allowed to or if we would want to. Generator is turned off. General. Consumption. Well, it's not consuming anything yet because I don't have anything yet. Uh, what do we got here? Construction. Resources. I've got some wood. What is that? Is that coal? I've got a little bit of coal. Okay. Okay, so just having them out there generates stuff. I don't need them to, like, trek it back and forth, which is sort of handy. You know what? Let's just fill these up. A bit more. Uh, I think we're out of people now. i got a couple left. Alright. Uh, i got four dudes just hanging out in the base now. Steam level one. Oh, okay. Temperature. Comfortable, livable, chilly, cold, very cold, freezing. Oh, cool. There's like a heat map. How do we get that? The temperature inside the buildings depends on the power setting of the generator. If the building is in the... If the building is in the heat zone. That building is insulation and conditions outside. There are six temperature levels. Keeping homes and workplaces as warm as possible helps prevent people from falling ill. Some workplaces might become inoperative if the temperature falls too low. Okay, this is going to be a huge learning curve. I probably will end up having to futz with this uh, while... Uh, see, I don't know how to do that. I'm just going to push tab. Tab's usually a button. Uh, coal, about nine hours. How do we... Oh, I can pause time. Does that... Okay, spacebar just gives us a quick, quick pause. That shows me where my people are. That's handy. I'm guessing that's workers and that one is engineers. Yep, that makes sense. What do we got? Book of Laws. Fight the cold. Do the thing. Functioning. Steam level is... Uh... I guess that's good. Six cold to turn on this steam level. I don't think I've unlocked anything there yet. Range setting... Heat zone range. I've not researched any of this jazz yet, so this is all going to be a bit of a brutal learning curve. Steam cores, I have one. Okay. Is there more tutorials? Controlling time. Yep, I've sussed that out. Right. Uh, let's see what we can build. Construction. Tent. Our dudes are homeless. Let's get some, some housing in, I reckon. I don't know. We'll put in three and we'll see what happens with that. Again, this is all a learning experience. Hi, welcome to Freddy Plays. Alright. This is so cool. My little homies digging and fetching me stuff. Oh god, everyone's pissy. Lack of shelter. Well, I'm working on it. Do I have to assign people? Oh no, it's under construction. Workers, five. Okay, so I need more workers. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll pinch like a couple from each site. And we'll get the the buildings going. Let's throw in some more tents. Uh, I'm gonna leave like a pathway. One, two, three. One, two, three. I'm gonna leave a gap there. I don't know why. I figure I might need like ways in and out of town. So if I leave a few parts, I don't know. We've got to be able to expand, surely. I feel like I've seen rings upon rings upon rings. So this could be interesting I'm getting 168 per day so that's handy uh, stockpile is 95 cool so at least we're bringing it in quicker than we're putting it out uh, wood is slow and steady is there like a finite number of resources per workforce will extract wood 81 80 okay so yep there is a 
a finite number of resources per area. So that's kind of shit. 500 coal there, 300 coal there. Oh, I found a person. I found Helen Stokes! Whoop, something's happening. Oh, okay, they go home at the end of the day. That's kind of trippy. Construction. Uh, I don't know if time is frozen in the background there or not. I might just pause it while we read this. The generator uh, is the heart of the city and the only source of heat in this frozen hole. You should turn it on as soon as stockpile enough coal. Done that one. Generator heats a circular zone around it, consuming six units of coal per hour. You can research generator upgrades to raise, raise the input, raise the output, uh, and expand the heat zone. Okay, construction. Uh, use the construction menu at the bottom of the screen in order to and order the construction or dismantling of buildings and streets. Okay, streets. There you go. So that'll be the presumably the extra rings. Uh, only people who are not currently at work can build structures. Building inside the heat zone uh, warm and provide better living working conditions. Make heat. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay, so we've got to make sure that everyone's chuffed. Valid placement, invalid placement, conditional placement. Rotate the grid. Okay. Alright, let's get everyone back to it. So now we've got all the workers are at home. So that's good. These guys will smash out all the buildings. Alright. Oh, look at that. These guys all live here. So we get 10 inhabitants per thing. How many inhabitants do we have? 80? 60 homeless. Well, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 more coming in. So that'll perfectly knock that out. Uh, let's have a look at the construction. Okay, so we've got different tabs. Ooh, a medical tent. Basic medical station with five beds treats most common ailments. Wood, 25. Well, we don't have a lot of resources, so I should probably be a bit, um, a bit stingier with, whoops, with what it is that we're doing. Uh, let's see, gathering post. People working here gather resources from nearby coal piles and wood crates and steel wreckage. Okay, so that kind of puts out, like, so they don't have to walk as far to bring it all the way back, I guess. Workshop. Uh, lab equipped with everything. Engineer needs to develop designs for our... Uh, okay, there's build streets. Oh, okay. Hang on, let's just go back into build streets. What is that? I don't get a... Oop. There's no little tool tip. I'm guessing it'll just make things faster, like walk trekking in between. So we'll just rock like maybe a bit of this. Okay, I can't do a direct line. That's alright. We'll knock that out for now. We'll just work on that side. Okay. Well, that looks really amazing, just quietly. Like, the furnace is nice and hot. Uh, temperature, comfortable, good stuff, good stuff. I need to know how to bring up that little heat map, because A, that was really cool, and B... I'm sure it'll be super helpful for for later on. Okay, the workers are putting down the roads. That's good. Need to stockpile some coal is objective one. Book of Laws, economy. Alright, we're not going to dive into that just yet. What do we got? There's some more coal over here. Alright, so I think what we'll do is stockpile coal and just knock off this first objective. Okay. So this is cool. Hit me up in the comments if you think this game looks fucking rad. Because I think it looks awesome. Uh, it... Oh, okay, there we go. There's the button I'm looking for. Right in the middle. Big temperature thing. It's minus 20 degrees Celsius. So that's bloody nippy. Coldest I've ever experienced. We were in, um... Canada. It was minus 16 and I had a couple of jumper, uh, I had like a t-shirt, a thermal thing underneath that, a, uh, a jumper, a jacket, a big bushy beard and a beanie and it was good and snug, I loved it, it was fantastic. That was in Niagara Falls, uh, in, oh shit, that would have been like just after New Year's, that was fantastic, that was like uh, a couple of years ago already, Jesus. How time flies, huh? Okay, so the, I won't be able to mess with any of this until after we put in a research lab. But I got no wood at the minute. Ooh, illnesses and healthcare. 
Uh, cold homes or workplaces call people to get sick. Without proper care, they can become gravely ill and might die. The sick can be treated at medical posts, but the gravely, uh, gravely ill need an infirmary to be treated. Until you build one, you can save their lives by signing one or uh, one of two laws. The radical treatment law allows you to treat the gravely ill in medical posts, but some of them will uh, be left as amputees. And the sustained life law allows you to keep the gravely ill alive, but untreated in medical posts or care houses indefinitely. Sickness, the number of sick people you have and the number of gravely ill people you have. Wonderful. So I've got one sick person at the moment. He's currently in a tent. Martha Lockton, not feeling too flash. Do I have enough resources to throw in a medical post? I do not. Where's the clock? It's 2 a.m. All right, let's speed up time a smidge. I don't feel like there's a lot I can do right now. When does day break? Like 7 a.m., 6 a.m., 5 a.m.? Okay. No new tutorials. Good stuff. All right, let us get some timber together. What's that? That's steel. I've got not plenty, but some. Uh, we can keep going like this for a while, I'd say. Let's get to work. We c we can't let up now. Okay, so I need maximum. Oh, oh, what's that? Day night cycle. Word of advice: critical shortage. The number of sick is rising and we don't have enough materials to build a medical post. Perhaps a short burst of effort could help us gather the necessary resources. Open the book of laws. Emergency shift, Jesus. Emergency shift. Sometimes we have to concentrate on the task at hand at the cost of everything else or die. Uh, I could sign this. Uh, after introducing this law, another one can be passed uh, after 18 hours, it's a new ability. You can force workers in any facility to work for the next 24 hours. Using the emergency shift will raise discontent. Discontent will rise slightly. You know what? I, uh, I might leave that on the back burner and not, not enact that just yet. I feel it's too early in my life as, as lord of these people to, um, to get them busting too much ass. Alright, I kind of wish it would say on here, like, what, uh, what effects the different things had. So, like, if I send an engineer somewhere, is that better or worse than sending a worker? Um, yeah. Let's just get all these fucking workers out. You know, we'll send the rest of the engineers to check out the coal. Alright, let's just get everyone pumping. Oh crap, fight the cold. <laughs> nice. They've just been given the old heave ho out of bed, out the door. Get your orange juice box. Get your bitch asses back to work. We need lumber. How much lumber do I need? 25. That's not too much. I've got 18. Okay, and then we're gonna have to bring a couple of workers back home from the field so that we can bang this in. 26. Alright, let's get that in and let's send a couple of workers home to, to build this. Just a couple. We'll send some engineers. I assume engineers might be better off actually at, at the construction, you know, like planning and stuff. Ah, oh, there's efficiency up here. One employee delivers 7% base efficiency. Okay, so the engineers and whatnot don't super make a difference here. Okay, so that one's mostly engineers. They're not as good, I guess, for that particular job. Speed up time a little bit, get these little homies back into, into town, get them working. Oh man, this game looks amazing. Looks crazy. Look at him go. Little dudes be building. Aww. Storage. Uh, no resource depots have been built yet. Okay, so we're going to start needing food soon. 
workforce. Do you know what cycle is? Okay, cool. So they got a bit of free time. Well, they got six solid hours of free time, and then a couple of hours of free time in the morning. They're doing all right. Uh, example: the hunters hunt will only employ workers. Cookhow will do engineers and that. Okay, so I've got to suss that out. That's fine. Some buildings. Yep. Okay, whatever. That one's fairly straightforward. Put the right people in the right job. Uh, now, let's get a couple of workers in there. And let's see what else we can build. We've got some resources at the minute. Uh, food. I reckon we get a cookhouse in. And a hunter's hut. Ba uh, hunter's... Hunters based here hunt every night, venturing beyond the city to track their prey in the frozen wasteland. They provide up to 15 raw food per day. Look, to be honest with you, you're pro we're probably going to need some food. Okay, so we got... Oh, what's happening now? End of shift already? Bloody hell. Okay, so 50% efficiency. Uh, one employee delivers 50%, base efficiency is 50%. I got three employees, up to two workers on this shift. Alright, there we go. So now she's operating at 100%, and we got no more sick people, so that's great. Uh, food and hunger. Streets! All structures in the city must be connected to the generator with the streets, otherwise they won't function to build a street. Yep, that one's fair enough. Food, hunger. Uh, the cookhouse prepares meals for the people. It produces two rations and, uh, from one raw unit of food. Raw food is provided by the hunters and uh, hoth houses? Hot houses. Uh, and sometimes fine by scouts during their exploration. When there are no four, uh, rations, people will start eating the raw food. Okay, so we need to make sure we keep our food up. So let's... Let's take a couple of people out of wood. Let's get a couple of people. Alright, I think we just need some roads. Okay, I think that'll do it. think that's okay we get there so far they haven't had any raw food oh, food rations zero shit all right well our guys are gonna start eating the raw food soon I guess so we'll see what happens with that uh, let's see let's crank up time because they're just they're free time in it at the moment or well, they're sleeping at the moment rather and they got a couple of hours free time. Get those roads built. At least we're alive. Not everyone will be so lucky. Alright. Oh, uh, we can't keep... We can keep going like this for a while, I'd say. Alright, so they're still pretty happy. Uh, so does that need to connect directly to this? must do. Yeah, that's probably why those are flashing hay. Because that will need to connect to there, that will need to connect to there. Okay. Is there anyone even in town? Steel wreckage depleted. Oh, god damn it. Alright, so that's, that's one more thing empty. Well, actually, it's our first thing empty. These guys work till 6 a.m. They leave the city and hunt for food. Rah rah. Initially, they bring 15 units of raw food each hunt. Research upgrades to increase the yield. Okay, that seems pretty straightforward. Um, well, so that means now those guys are going to come back here. So we'll have three available. That doesn't seem like enough. What happened to the rest of these guys that were on here? Shouldn't there be more than three? Ah, oh, there's engineers available, okay. Well, that's right, we'll leave these guys at home for the moment just to knock out those roads. Alright, they've done that one because it stopped flashing. They've done that, so these are going now. Good stuff, good stuff. 
Okay. Now, do they bring home rations, or do they just eat every day? I think everyone's under control. Person is sick but being treated. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. Uh, Alright, what do we got? 70 and 70. Let's put in another building, I reckon. Resource depot. Gathering post. People working here will gather resources from nearby coal. Rah, rah, rah. What's that? I don't know what that was. Hmm. That's the kind of thing that would like go well over here. Resource depot is just extra storage, tech, workshop, lab equipped, developing stuff. Alright, why not? Let's bang this in there. Now we've got some spares. 16 available. Let's get another worker out there. Actually, you know what? Maybe we make a bit of a mixture. Oh, shit, that one's depleted. Let's see. Build a sawmill, okay. So shit's gonna get real soon. Alright. These guys are doing their thing. Labs under construction. About five hours of time for that. Got rations piling up, which is great. Hunters close at the day. They'll be off out starving. Well, there's rations. Go and eat. Four star. Four hungry. Well, there's a boatload of rations. Wood crates depleted, damn it. So that's. Uh, we're we're going to run out of resources. Alright, let's just nail this coal. Okay, 40% efficiency. 40% efficiency breakdown. Nine have gone to eat. One's eating. Efficiency breakdown delivers 7% per person. I would have thought that would add up a bit quicker. Anyway, alright, so these guys are now out of food in order to create more rations. We do have 160 rations almost, so fingers crossed we'll be okay. Whoa! Straight into it, okay. Uh, what have we got? Steam hub allows us to build steam hubs when powered by the generator. These contraptions create additional smaller heat zones around them. Each active hub consumes three coal per hour. Heaters. Allows the use of heaters to work, uh, to heat workplaces during working hours. Each heater raises the workplace temperature by one level and consumes one per hour. <sighs> you know what? I reckon heaters are probably a good plan. I reckon we knock out some heaters. That's going to take about nine hours for them to suss that out. Then we're really going to hit the coal like a son of a bitch. Research. Uh, use the workshop to develop new buildings and improvements. Uh, you boost research speed by building several workshops. That makes sense. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Research tech groups in tiers. You have to research their tier upgrade before you can start the next one. So long as choosing one doesn't then block the other. Like if I can sort of knock out all the ones I want, that'll be ideal. Um, so we'll see how we go. Food. The generator hums with reassuring warmth, but we shouldn't take take it for granted. If the generator goes down, the city dies. Be mindful of the coal reserves. Now, food. There will be no city if we starve to death. Secure a way to provide raw food and build a cookhouse to prepare meals. Well, we're doing okay for coal at the minute. What's left over here? Oops. People from our convoy. With basic resources secured for now, we can try to the rescue people... Try to rescue the people we left behind. Build a beacon... Scout Frostland and save as many survivors from our expedition as possible. You'll need a workshop to design the plans for the more advanced buildings. Well, there you go. It sounds like we'll be uh, shooting off into the wasteland after all. You know what? I reckon we might pause it right there and call this episode a day. Thank you very much for hanging out, guys and girls. Again, hit me up in those comments. Any questions, anything you want to talk to me about, it's all good. Just let me know. Uh, but until next time, may all of your battles be epic. All of you loot drops legendary. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!